Hey, it's Annabelle. And I have my Glossier parcel here with me. This week they dropped a new line of beauty extras. So I'm gonna open this up, do my unboxing and first impressions. I didn't get the whole collection, but I did get a lot. I omitted some products that I wouldn't actually use, just some colors that aren't my taste. But for the lip vinyls, I purchased all six and I think I can use all of them. Bank is the first one I'm gonna start with. This is interesting packaging. Here we are. I feel like it's a little wasteful. You might as well just give it to me in this. Huh. It's taking a while. Glide onto lips. Oh, sh it really glides on. And you can tell it's sort of greasy looking. It feels moisturizing and does have that shiny finish. It is quite easy to wipe off. It doesn't stain, it doesn't smear around. Next up is Blow Up, which is described as a candy pink. It does look nice with my blue hair, but as for my complexion, it is more cold tone, so it has blue-purple undertones rather than orange-red undertones for this pink. So coral is definitely more for me rather than this, which is very kind of like Barbie pink. I'm looking forward to this. Disco is described as a terracotta color, so it's great for days where I want something more toned down but still colorful because it really brightens up your complexion. This color is a lot more vibrant than I expected. It does look more blood orange than terracotta to me, just more saturated than I would think. And as always, if you dial it down a bit, it looks really nice. Also, it's not as shiny. So next up is Casino, which is described as a brilliant orange and it is so vibrant. This is a great summer color. I was all about that really bright orangey red. They have a really bright red-orange blush, and this is the lip vinyl form. Depending on the makeup look, it could make you look washed out just because of how vibrant it is. This shade is Baby, a siren red, and it looks just like a really good classic red lip color. I think it's suitable for cold, warm, or neutral undertones because it is just a true red. It looks more warm on me because my blue hair right next to it makes it look more orange, but really it isn't. The last shade is called Pony, described as a dark taupe. And as I expected, I really enjoy this color. It goes with my outfit and also my hair. I mentioned in the last video that I've transitioned back into a more neutral um, nude lip color kind of look just because I think it goes really well with the blue. This has a colder undertone, kind of purpley bluey. It's not quite a nude lipstick for me. It would be for darker skin tones. So those are all of the swatches and now on to the product review part. I like it. If I didn't already have all of the colors, I would purchase it again. It's really comfortable to wear and it's flexible. As you saw, I can build it up and wear it full on or you can blot it and it's more natural. Um, and you can also also concentrate in the middle and have that kind of ombre candy lip gloss look. Wind blowing your hair around outside might be a little bit scary because it will just get everywhere. I like that it has a tiny bit of fragrance, it smells pleasant, but it has no taste. I do not like any lip gloss that has like a candy or really artificial sweet taste. I can't stand it. $16 for this 0.08 ounces is similar to the Lime Crime liquid lipsticks, which is around the same amount, but for $20, however, the application of this would mean that you probably lose out on some product because you can't possibly get every single last drop out. Next is their eyeliner called Color Slide. They describe it as a techno gel eyeliner that is waterproof, doesn't crease, smudge, tug, or skip, and lasts for 12 hours. And matte shades last in the waterline for eight hours. I'm not gonna try all of these on my face, but for my first impressions, I will just line my eyes with one color today. I might actually use a couple of shades depending on how light this is. It does actually feel quite dry. It has like a powdery texture to it and it doesn't smudge as easily, but it does fade. This darker one is called Hardcore Velvet which is a darker blue, and it just looks like a dark teal. I'm coming in with a tiny bit of bronzer to give my eye area more definition. I'm gonna do a smudge test. So it's been about a minute, and I'm like really rubbing my eye, which I don't think anyone will ever do, and it does barely, barely smudge, which is great. Now I'm gonna try one that is not a matte shade. I'm gonna treat a lot of these like eyeshadows probably. And glide it on. I should have put this on first as a base, but it doesn't really matter. 
This is not supposed to be a really good tutorial, just in case anyone is wondering why I look so childish. Currently, I'm going through in between my eyelashes. It's so weird that I blended three different blues together. It kind of looks like those really tropical waters. Just because I can't get any more extra, I'm gonna put on another color. So I think it's pretty clear that I enjoy this product and it's a pretty good eyeliner. I was pretty excited about this because I have gone back to using pencil eyeliners, which I haven't done for a long time, especially with the trend of liquid eyeliners recently. As for today, I have to go out later, so I just put on mascara, and this is the extent of the eyeliner that I'm gonna put on, but I'm so excited to try the other colors on and make tutorials with them, so I'm gonna save it for that. Um, as for the product review, I think it's pretty obvious that I really like it. I would purchase again and recommend this because for the price, it's really high quality. I even think it's better than some that you'd find in Sephora for like $18 or $20 because the Urban Decay one, 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, I have one of those and it's quite greasy. When I line my tight line with it, it smudges instantly. And the next product I'm gonna move on to is called Night Shine. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, which is fine because I don't think I would go through this in a long time. I'm gonna see if this one is truly that amazing because according to the site, it is made with pearl powder formula. Wow, okay. So I guess this is a very natural level, but I really love just the pop. You need to build it up over and over. Instead of smearing it with my fingers, I'm just blotting it around because I find that when you do this, it kind of just soaks in and disappears. This would give you kind of like a dewy effect. It stays a lot better if you just leave a tiny drop of it and then continue to use your fingers. But it does feel just a little bit sticky on my skin, but it might dry up. I don't think it's scented. As soon as you put on highlighter, your entire makeup look just changes. The last thing that I have to review is the Glitter Gelée, which is just the, a little pot of gel glitter. The one I'm gonna apply is called Firewalk. I'm always biased for copper tones, not only because it kind of complements this look, I just really, really like this. First impressions, it feels like jello or no it doesn't feel like jello it kind of feels like silly putty so this is the detailer brush that comes with it oh it looks interesting because it's like a tapered piece of silicone i, I thought it was foam at first but it's actually rubbery it reminds me of like rubber spatulas what i'm gonna do is take some of the product and use the edge and line my eyeliner with this glitter this is so fun. <laughs> I like shiny things. Phantasm, which is the translucent opalescent shade, they have very large chunks that are a little bit too exaggerated for what I'm going for today. I'm gonna put it on my cheek instead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, it looks like glitter freckles. Wow, it doesn't come off. I'm trying to remove it a little bit because I want to tone it down. But for the price point, $14 might be just a little bit too much for glitter. I think there are other ways to achieve the same thing if you really wanted to. So of all of the Glossier Play products, I feel like this one is the least worth investing in because it is still just typical glitter. I mean, the formula it comes in, you can see it like does set extremely well. I couldn't tell you if there are a lot more affordable drugstore glitter items or like from NYX or something um, that it works just as well. To finish off the look, I am going to apply one of the lip vinyl colors, but I'm gonna wear it like this, a lot more faded. All right, and the last product that I have here is their blade, which is the pencil sharpener, and it comes with a cleaning stick so when you have residue on the inside you can get it off by doing that but i'm not going to waste it because it's brand new so this is my makeup look for today as well as all of the products that i have to share with you to review and swatch so i hope that it was comprehensive enough to be informational and helpful i have the links below for you as well as the shades and all of the details of that and lastly you might have seen this coming but i'm going to do a giveaway 
So there's going to be two winners. The first winner is going to receive the Playground, which is the set that has one of each product. And I didn't purchase this yet because depending on who wins, I'm going to contact the winner and they will tell me exactly what shade and what they want. The second winner is going to receive these things. One color slide eyeliner in the shade Hardcore Velvet, which is the deep teal that I had on today. The lip vinyl in the shade Baby, which is that true red. And the gel glitter in the shade Firewalk, the copper one that I have on as well, along with the detailing brush. So I'm going to put all of the information down in the description so that there's no confusion. And yes, it's going to be international because I know that Glossier doesn't ship everywhere now, so if it is international, I will purchase it and then I will mail it out to you. I know I normally don't make a lot of review and very beauty guru videos, but it's a ton of fun. I really enjoyed it and I'm probably going to do more of this, especially with all of these new products. I want to do more tutorials, so if you enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up and tell me what you thought in the comments and I will see you very soon. So have a great rest of your day, sending you my love. Bye. I can't even hold these up right, but, oh, oh my. Here we go. There it is, trypophobia.